The Big Break Legacy is brought to you in partnership with the Department of Trade and Industry. Welcome to the Turbine Hall in Newtown, Johannesburg. It's been a whirlwind ride getting here. Highs and lows, joys and laughter. Tonight, our board and an invited audience of South African captains of industry will decide who goes home with the five million rand investment into their business. Will it be Graham Rowe or will it be Lebohang Khitsane? I'm Masa Chabale Kalake and this is the grand finale of the Big Break Legacy. Business ideas and opportunities are everywhere, but it takes a certain kind of person to spot them. It takes an entrepreneur, someone who can recognize an opportunity and turn it into a successful business. South Africa needs world-class entrepreneurs. The Big Break Legacy is going to find one. From thousands of hopefuls, 12 of the country's finest entrepreneurs made it through. From all walks of life, from all parts of the country, all with one thing in common. The drive and ambition to convince our four board members that they should be the winner of the 5 million rand investment prize. The Big Break Legacy. Two weeks ago, we reunited all 12 contestants to look back at an amazing first season of the Big Break Legacy. Over the course of 12 weeks, we've seen our entrepreneurs overcome the impossible and encounter the improbable. Friendships were formed and relationships strained as the entrepreneurs tackled nail-biting challenges. And today, we bring our original 12 contestants back together to tell us about the highs and lows of their journeys. Let's take a look at some of them. I've been busy trying to get some uh, customers to add on to her database so that when they have specials, she can SMS that through. Just keeping my fingers crossed, this must go. That's my ass is on the line. Yeah. How's it going, Bulelwa? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Sold two hubs, port plant hubs, two set of pens and one dial. But we see the strength and opportunity outweighs these two. Yeah. Therefore, we believe it's going to work. First customer. Hungry young man, he needs his nutrition. All right, let's go get food. So we're going to stick to that plan. I have to, now, from now on, I think, I think, I, I need to be listened to. It's not everybody who's supposed to be sitting on the computer. Well, this is a practical task. Somebody's going home today. The guys who are busy walking around, we're going to collect with the music or entertainment or whatever to bring them closer to us. Congratulations to Abongile. You are our blue chip. <laughs> And that person is dressed for the occasion, Sean Hyde. Congratulations. <laughs> and I feel this wind and I'm like, oh, it's fine. Next thing I hear, the thing collapsed. You see what I was talking about, about the wind. How can you fix it? I, I don't remember you ever mentioning about the wind. I, I can't really fix it. Some incredible moments from a journey of grueling tasks and challenges. Our final four are left standing. Five plus five equals ten. Sebenzele, you are our blue chip. Congratulations, you are our blue chip. Sebenzile, we really saw you come alive in this task. What did this particular task mean for you personally? Um, for me, it was child education. I really believe that you teach them young and they become better future leaders. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Sebenzile. Paul Kim. You've succeeded in making it to the top three. Let's Thank take you. a look at some of your moments. I've spoken to the lady at the tech shop, and she's giving exclusive rights to a stock. <laughs> she needs to I come back to me. I was going to ask you about that. We did see you talking to the lady yes, at the tech shop. Yes, so tomorrow, <laughs> if things go well, I have exclusive rights to all the stock at cost price. The school that I got involved with was amazing. What they're doing there is they've pretty much invested 12 years' worth of private school education into those kids who otherwise would never have the opportunity of normal, even normal government schooling. Oh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Yeah, that was a. What is awesome your most episode. memorable, most unforgettable moment of this entire journey? Thinking back now, I think it was definitely the episode that I got kicked off on. And the reason why I say that is um, the organization that I work with, um, I was told of them about a year and a half ago. And I've been thinking about how on earth am, am I ever going to meet these guys? And. Uh, Funny enough, uh, I'm on a reality TV show and on the 12th episode, I have the opportunity to finally meet these guys and to work with them. And that really was a, a 
you can almost say a dream come true, yeah. Thank you to every single one of you. We're left with Graham Rowe and Lebohan Khitani. And to brief them, the judges pay them a surprise visit at the reunion. Hey guys, hey, right. all 12 of you, it looks stunning. It's down to the wire now, isn't it? Final two has emerged. Graham's use of strategic planning and out-of-the-box marketing tactics was influential in his role to the finale. It's actually what I do a lot of the time, marketing strategy. Where African stars come alive, Jovic Planetarium. Let's set up a, like a Tucson community online. Graham, your leadership is absolutely inspiring. Are you looking for an investor? Twist and learn. It's an innovative children's toy. You guys did well. We're hoping to get lots of traffic to the site and most importantly feed and store and money out of wallets into the soccer team. Demonstrated amazing support. Casper de Fries said that he thought the concept was brilliant. I mean the first thing that I thought is I have to get some allies who can help me do this because I've got well, no resources basically. <coughs> Give me the opportunity to go to the final and you won't be disappointed in the way that I grow that network and turn myself into a really powerful entrepreneur. Give it my best shots and you know, I'm here to win. That's why I've spent all this time and energy. Five million at stake, so may the best man take it home. Lebo's ability to marshal a network around himself and his unique selling skills makes him a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> I need a big paper. You know the clocks that you have? You don't have clocks. You're a blue chip for digging in and leveraging your networks, Lebohang, for raising up more than just what we have requested of you. Maisie tried to help me out. That was teamwork, you know. I just have to arrange some clown things. Yeah! <laughs> it all came together as if it was a perfect script. You're a hustler. I'm not a hustler, I'm a businessman. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Lebo. Well done. Thank well done. you. Thank well done. you. Well, I mean, really, with the big break, we pushed things, we did things that were impossible. I came, I saw, and I conquered. I'm the machine gun. I just come in, I finish. My dad would have said to me, Mutaum, you've nailed it. Can you guys come forward, please, and receive your task? Your challenge is you now not only have me to convince, you not only have the judges to convince, but you have the finest business minds in this country to convince that you are worthy of the five million rand investment. You guys are going to create your corporate commercial about your business, which will be played at the grand finale. It's about positioning your company for investment. Mm. The corporate commercial that you guys will be producing should be 60 seconds. You have access to art director as well as a creative director from Jupiter Drawing Room. Mm. Finest minds in advertising. You have access to the MTM business in a box. You've got 500 rands worth of airtime. 500 megabytes worth of data that you can use in there. We're giving you a Chevrolet utility vehicle as well as a Chevrolet sonic vehicle. What goes out and gets played in the grand finale would be a product that you guys controlled from start to finish. You also would be given the opportunity to present a two minute verbal presentation. It's important that you make sure that you respond to the four things that we've always requested of you. Mm. Creativity, what is so creative about your business? Commercial viability, mm -hmm. why is it commercially viable? Sustainability and scalability. 
potential for social change. Social change in what way? Job creation. Yeah. It is all up to you guys. Yeah. And once again, well done for making it right up to the top two. Thank you. Thank you. Prove to South Africa you're worth the investment. It's an exciting kind of task. I mean, the, it was, I guess, one of the, the only really logical options that you could have. What are you going to do before you get given a five million investment? You're going to say what you want to do with it, right? Yeah. Graham Rowe arrives at advertising agency, the Jupiter Drawing Room, for his think tank session with the creatives. No, we had, we had a help. See what got. So the big idea uh, that I'm that I'm looking at is, is around healthcare and, and especially around chronic disease. So if we get back to the ad, the, the idea is you want those 100 uh, CEOs to walk out of, out of this, or come out of the 60 that. seconds yeah. and kind of feel, geez, I could be part of something yeah. pretty, pretty some visionary and, and yeah. pretty, pretty, like a massive impact, you know, so we could keep tens of thousands of people out of the hospital. Yeah. We could, it could be a big business, but I don't want that to be, I don't want the money thing to be the main yeah. thing in the head. It's about being part of something that's much bigger yeah. than any one individual. In the two minutes, you can really go into details about what the project is involved with and stuff. Exactly. So maybe for the 60 second, we can focus more on, on the emotional side of things. Mm, so, I think so, and, yeah. and in talking about being a visionary, I think it could be cool, and this is just an idea we're mm. throwing around here, but it could be cool to do something where you say, imagine a world where Healthcare is 24 7, and then imagine a world where sure. um, less time is spent at hospitals and more time spent with your family. Imagine a world, sure. and then at the end, you could even say that, that kind of world is possible, mm. or something like that. You've got to strike that balance between like not yeah. being corny and yeah. actually getting the points across. The presentation I felt pretty good about because I enjoy presenting. Um, the QA I feel good about because I know my business and I'm passionate about it. So I suppose the missing piece there was around that video and how. Do you make a 60 second commercial? You know, how do you fiddle that information in? How do you run a crew? How do you just make something like that happen? Graham's shoot starts out at a friend's house in Northcliffe. I was a bit nervous in the morning first thing. The three or four days before the shoot is a really, really tough time for me. And I, I mean, I was, I was really struggling, obsessing over scenes and takes and cuts and lines of dialogue, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. But I suppose the upside of all that work and kind of like mental anguish is that I actually got something that sort of made sense and then when I went in on the shoot I knew what I wanted and there was a structure laid out and I think the crew responded nicely to that. Feeling pretty good, we've got lights, cameras, actors, a location, so now it's time for action. I want to try a variation that's like a little, even less action. It was actually my, one of my most fun days for a long time, the day of shooting. The stuff up to it was pretty hard though. Perfect. Thanks. I think I feel happy. So it's two o'clock in the afternoon. We've got five hours left to shoot. We're busy doing um, this scene over here with the patient back in hospital uh, right now. As the crew begin to shoot at the second location, Graham is slightly apprehensive. These scenes carry heavy dialogue, which is imperative to the message of his commercial. With Ezra's imminent site visit, will Graham keep it together to finish on time? Ezra's a Graham, how are you? Good. Are you well? Yeah, I'm How's it going, Butch? Yeah, it's a whole, as usual, in big break. Mm -hmm. Something new, always a big challenge. So you enjoying this stuff? I, I'm enjoying it. So, so, when, so when Ezra arrived, obviously I was, it was good to see him and good to get his feedback, because he's, you know, obviously the, the man when it comes to actually making decisions around the whole show. So he's kind of the, the ultimate audience. So I needed to get on the same wavelength as him. So that was great. On the other hand, we had a that? really, really critical juncture in the filming of this key piece of dialogue that the whole thing hinges on. A lot of the other stuff is very visual, so you can take a few takes, different angles, different shots, and you can get something you can work with. But if your dialogue doesn't work and your actors don't like nail it, then there's nothing you can, you can't cut your way around that. There's no option. So I was sort of thinking, okay, I'm dealing, Ezra's here and I need to talk to him 
the actors are doing their thing over there. I mean, they were great, by the way, but I, I sort of really started to think, wow, if I don't get this right, I'm going to cry in the editing suite. <laughs> I'm going to weep because I'm not going to have the material I need. It's good when you start a, a business mm. to showcase the need that that business is responding to. Absolutely, yeah. So through this commercial, mm. I'm trusting that you'll be able to showcase that. Absolutely, business. yeah. Here's a need. Mm. This is why this business is, has to exist yes. to fulfill that market. Need. Sure. Yeah. Ladies and gents, thanks very much. Fantastic work all around, and that's a wrap. So, cheers. Then it was Lebo's turn to visit the creatives to discuss the making of his video. The hour that I had with the people from Jupiter, it was very productive because they showed me direction where to go. I have a very good product. So we do special projects. We do tombstones, we do kitchen tops, we do staircases, we do bars, we do cladding. Uh, anything to do with granite. My main business is tombstones. I specialize in tailor-made tombstones. My vision is to grow beyond the borders of South Africa to be the biggest tombstone manufacturing company in Africa. You should have a strong introduction. Clearly define who you are and what you do. Then go into, you could go into the more emotional aspect of it and then into the business side and then end off with something that's really strong as well. It's a long story to tell within 60 seconds because you want to punch them and get them into a, a simple and succinct kind of thought. No, guys, thank you for your input. Pleasure, man. I really... Good luck. I feel <laughs> good, eh? And some of the things that I left off, I thought that it would be a little bit better to make it short and sweet than to make a long thing where there's more voiceover. Rather have a good voice over that sends good messages. As well as directing, Lebo has decided to act in his video to add a more personal touch. The morning I was a bit cold because I've got flu, but I was a bit nervous okay. and then I got my groove back and we worked because I had to direct, I had to be in the video also. I was like lent to it right now. I'm doing the storyboard that the first scene. The highlight of the day was when they did my father's shot when I asked them to do the hero's uh, shot. Hey, I about look here, yeah. <laughs> Lebo and the crew head off to his office and factory in Katehong and prepare for the final scenes. Ezra arrives on the set and immediately points out some flaws in Lebohang's approach to the commercial. If I'm an investor and I see a corporate video that says all you are about is tombstones, I would not invest in that. When I started the video, I was mainly concentrating on tombstones because I was thinking that the kitchen top and the other funeral plans and everything else will go into my two-minute presentation. And then I saw the importance of it when Ezra was a bit angry about it. The main focal point was the tombstones. Focal point is the business. Mm. It's not the product. Okay. It's not a product commercial. It's a corporate commercial. Okay. Has Lebo put a foot in the grave and slipped up at the final hurdle? Will he have enough time to shoot other aspects of his business to convince the audience that he has much more to offer than just tombstones? Are you going to make time, Lebo? Yeah, yeah. I was 30 minutes. Have you done your kitchen tops? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to show? Just the kitchen top. And if you just got a shot, 
covering this whole area over this, so you got this yeah. in the fish. I had to think quick because I remember that there's a granite top here. And then you see the rest, but this is the main feature. That's Dust, yeah. The crew up the tempo to make sure that Lebo completes the task within the allocated time frame. Let's focus on like this, corners, like this. Yes, it is. Uh, taking the kitchen top uh, last minute, we managed to be on time. It didn't compromise anything. So we are done? We are done. All right. Okay, we made it on time, guys. 15 minutes before, six. I'm happy. It's a wrap. Town, Johannesburg. Tonight, an invited audience of captains of industry will help the board of the Big Break Legacy make history. So here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for our two finalists, Lebohang Khitanya and Graham Rowe. Gentlemen, please welcome our honorable board of advisors. Ezra Ndwandwe is the chairman of the Big Break Legacy Board and one of South Africa's leading business strategists. Dr. Werner Barkhazen is an organizational psychologist, has led many entrepreneurs to discover their true potential. Yvonne Johnston is a renowned world-class communicator and expert at branding nations, personal and corporate reputation management specialist. And the editor of the Business Report, Ellis Miandu, has worked in London and New York covering the global economy and business. It's so good to finally be here. Ezra, you are the visionary behind the Big Break Legacy. How does it feel to be here tonight, finally? It's actually a big feeling, Master Chaba. Uh, you know, it's, it's very interesting and very humbling how South Africa has responded to this concept. I'm very humbled. Remember that Ezra said that Graham and Lebohang will be judged on four criteria, and they are creativity and innovation of the business, its commercial viability, the sustainability and scalability of the enterprise, and the potential to drive social change by way of creating jobs. So this is the moment of truth for our finalists. Let's take a look at Graham's commercial. Last year, medical aid spent 10 billion rand on preventable hospitalizations. Looking good, uh, but how are you finding the blood pressure medication? It's okay, doctor. That's good. Your medical aid has this new prevention program, and they tell me that you haven't been renewing your prescriptions. I forget them sometimes, but I feel good if I didn't take them. So I'm going to change your prescription, but you must take your medicine every day. More than 25% of hospitalizations are preventable. Our prediction and prevention solutions enable medical aids to drive down costs. Data-driven precision healthcare by Sancreed. Absolutely amazing. You did it all yourself? Uh, first time filmmaker, thank you. Good, good. <laughs> I obviously had some incredible help from a great team, so... That's good. Can I now ask you to stand up and give us your sure. presentation, please? Are you ready, Graham? Absolutely. Your time starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, healthcare is a victim of its own success. 
Decades of incredible innovation have left us with a system of staggering complexity. We've got information overload, and what that means is so much of the time we don't get the ideal care for a particular situation, a particular healthcare problem. What we need is a system that ties together the best of what we can do in healthcare and brings it to bear on every single situation. And that's why we're building SANCREED, a knowledge engine that will allow us to tie together the best that we have in the medical system and apply it. You saw that in the video, a simple solution like ensuring that a, a patient with chronic heart disease gets their prescription uh, filled every single time can make such a huge difference. There's much more sophisticated solutions where we can ensure that patients get treatment that's tailored to their unique genetic profile. And those kinds of solutions, from the simple to the sophisticated, can make a massive impact on the healthcare system. We could reduce costs in the South African system by 10 billion rand every single year if we were to integrate healthcare in this way. We believe that within three years, we could generate 250 million rands worth of savings for South African medical aids. 50 million rands worth of those savings would flow to Sancreed as revenues, and we could employ a team of 30 employees within, within those three years. My co-founder of Sancreed, Richard Johnson, and I have years of experience building data analytics and information management systems. In fact, we've run projects to the value of 200 million rand for South African corporates already. And we know the power of these systems to transform uh, businesses and industries. Um, with, with Sancreed, uh, we're standing at the intersection that's it, that's of incredibly it, powerful trends. Thank it's you fantastic. very much. Well done, well done. Thank you very much, Graham. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It is your turn. Isn't it, Lebohan? It is. Let's have a look at your commercial first. We are born. And we live. We work. And we connect. We are a quality, innovative, and community driven organization that creates jobs and stand by selling more than just granite products, but everlasting memories. We specialize in tailor made tombstones, personalized funeral plans, and granite surfaces. We deliver in South Africa and the rest of Africa. Batawun Memorial Tombstones. A legacy cast in stone. Maybe I'm sure even, even the audience is eager to see what you have to say. Please take your stand. <laughs> Your time starts now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lewohang Khitsana from Batau Memorials. I am here tonight to share my vision with you of spreading my company across the continent, eventually globally. We are an innovative granite company that specializes in marble and granite. And right now, I'm here to explain to you, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to say. I'm going to say it from the heart. We are a quality-driven company. Our passion is to create memories, whether in the kitchen, cooking a sumptuous meal on your granite surface, or at a tombstone where you go and see your loved one. But, but our memorial, it's where nature meets sophistication. We shape marble and granite products and make them into masterpieces. Our products and services are tailor-made tombstones, Granite surfaces, whether domestic or commercial, personalized funeral plan with a cash payout and a tombstone. Finance up to 72 months to pay. We've partnered with African Bank and Capitec Bank. We are a commercially viable company. We are a profitable company. We've been in business for eight years. We have six branches in South Africa. We have 16,000 people that visit our website. They spend an average of six minutes per visit. They go through 10 pages on our website. It's a beautiful website. 
We have 1,000 members on our funeral plan. Our future growth is to establish relationships with reputable funeral undertakers, property developers, architects, estate agents. Grow our six branches to 17 branches by 2013, uh, June. And also, we are going to franchise the Bataung brand in South Africa and Africa. Return on investment is guaranteed, ladies and gentlemen, in three years. We are currently employing 46 people. Our 2020 vision is to employ 1,200 people. By June 2013, we will have 200 people because we are opening a corporate sales office. Your time is up, Lebu. Your time is up. Thank you. We just can't separate the contestants at this stage, but there can only be one winner. Stay with us to find out who has the edge. I want to give this beautiful advi advisory board the opportunity to actually interrogate your presentations, I want you to think about the question and think about the answer because that is what is going to influence this, this audience. I'm going to start with you, Alice. Graham, uh, tell us, please, how Sencreed will be sustainable and scalable. In other words, how, what would make it viable? So the scalability of Sancreed is probably one of its most potent uh, advantages. We're talking about an 85 billion rand private medical aid space in South Africa where there's so much room for improvement. As I said earlier, benchmarks from overseas show that there's a 10 billion rand opportunity in South Africa. So even targeting a fraction of that and bringing even part of those savings to bear through integrated data management would allow us to save hundreds of millions of rand for medical aids. The beautiful thing about those sort of information systems is that they scale fantastically. So once you've created a solution that works well for one particular medical aid in one particular condition, uh, you've got the power to multiply that many times over without, grow without necessarily having to grow your resource base. Thank you, so thank you very thank much. Thank you, Graham. Lebo, question to you. Tell us what will make Bataung tombstones scalable and sustainable. Our scalability uh, growth uh, plan is, at the moment, in the past eight years, we've erected 7,500 tombstones, 300 kitchen tops in the past two years. And we are constantly coming up with new designs that make sure that we introduce products. And with our corporate sales office, we are going to employ reps that will go out to people, whether property developers, whether estate agents and funeral undertakers, that will bring business to us and also through advertising. That's our main plan because we are definitely a profitable company. We've been in the business for eight years and we know what we're doing. Yvonne, please start with Lebo. Thank you, Ezra. Lebo Khan. Yes, ma'am. What is it about your business that is different, that makes, that differentiates your product from others in the market? What's different about Batao Memorial Tombstones is we don't sell tombstones, we sell memories. We specialize in making sure that we interpret someone's life in a tombstone. If you are a soccer player, we will make a tombstone that fits your character. And also, what makes us different is that when we do our cladding work or kitchen tops or even your staircases, you feel like you live in a palace. Even if you live in an RDP house, we'll make your house look beautiful. <laughs> Graham, tell me what, about your business. What makes it different? What differentiates you and what the innovation really is? Thank you. So, our business is, is absolutely unique in the South African environment. We're working at the intersection of some incredibly exciting trends biotechnology and genetic analysis that can cure disease. We're talking about data analytics. We're talking about trends in healthcare. Um, and we've put together a package that is not just innovative because we want to innovate, it's innovative because it addresses an incredibly deep question that we as South Africans have to grapple with. How are we gonna control healthcare costs and how are we gonna build a healthier na nation? And it's also innovation that is grounded in real expertise. As I said, myself and my business partner have already run projects to the value of 200 million rand for South African corporates in these areas. We've got proven expertise, we're qualified scientists, and we've put together a package that brings together all those unique skills in one place and solves a very severe problem that we need to grapple with as soon as possible in this country. Thank you very much. Your turn. To Graham, please. 
Graham, as you know, commercial viability is essential for any business. Mm. I need to understand, please elaborate on, on the margins, the profitability, and right. long-term com commercial viability. Okay, so in terms of commercial viability, I think the right place to start is with a substantially sized market. As I mentioned, there's 85 billion rands of medical aid benefits that get paid out by private medical aids every year in South Africa. That's what we're starting with. Then we've got 10 billion rands worth of potential savings. So we've got an enormous market that, we, that we're playing in. The next thing is this sort of innovation, once you've overcome the initial barriers and set up your systems, there's enormous potential to scale that, as I, as I spoke about earlier. So a team of 30, 40 analysts can create a system that can potentially save hundreds of millions of rands. Same question. Werner? Commercial viability, absolutely essential. Please elaborate. Profitability, margins, etc. Uh, we've been in business for eight years as Batao Memorial Tombstones. I've been in business for 18 years. I've seen four seasons of business life. I've went under, I've lost everything, and I know, I thought I knew everything, but the big break made me to realize my poten full potential. We get 16,000 visitors to our website. They don't come by mistake. You cannot just go to that website by mistake. One. Two, we've got 1,000 members on our funeral plan. Those 1,000 members, if you calculate by 10,000 rent, it's Paul Kim. Give me the figure. It's a couple of million rents. And also, we are going to grow our a funeral plan book uh, every month with the six shops by next year we'll be having 17 shops every month if shop one shop can just sign 50 people times 17 times 10,000 is guaranteed future business for the for Batau Memorial also the development that is happening in South Africa housing developments are happening all thank over thank you thank you Nebu. you have to agree with me that um, this is the best display of Street wisdom versus book wisdom. You, see, you have right? to agree with me. <laughs> <laughs>
officially closed. So while our voting experts are calculating the results, we'd like to thank our supportive sponsors on The Big Break Legacy. They have ensured that none of our contestants go away empty-handed tonight. They were entertained in style to a once-in-a-lifetime trip on the blue train from Pretoria to Cape Town. I was privileged to be on that train. They received scholarships to attend any short course of their choice at Gibbs Business School, and each contestant received a watch from Belova, and the winner will receive five domestic return tickets from SAA. And MTN Business, our title sponsor, is presenting all 12 contestants with their very own MTN Business in a Box, which, of course, has become the envy of all startups. <laughs> Tim Hedden from General Motors South Africa came up to present third and fourth place Paul Kim and Sebenzile Kumalo with a Chevrolet utility van. The runner-up will also receive a Chevrolet utility van. General Manager of Brand and Communications of MTN South Africa handed over 12 business in a box parcels to all of the contestants. The MTN Business Startup Pack. Everything you need to go for it. Ezra, before we announce the winner of the first season of The Big Break Legacy, this is your brainchild. What has this experience been like for you? It's been an amazing journey. Very humbled. Very, very excited. And the envelope that I'm holding in my hand will tell us exactly who the winner is, finally. Over to you, Ezra. Phew. Thank you, Master Chawa. Guys, congratulations uh, for making it this far. As you know, we always say, in any challenge, there's no tie as a winner. And what I have here is the name of that winner. It's the moment of truth. Are you guys ready? It's the moment of truth. Are you guys ready? Yes. And the winner is. right now how do you feel it's the it's a culmination of a dream that I've been uh, keeping my heart for more than a decade and I've, I've worked so hard I've trained I've had so many people family and friends support me and and uh, love me all the way through this incredible journey towards something that is really about more than just business about making a contribution to, to South Africa and uh, 
it's just incredible to be at this point where I can take that big step forward and, and, and turn that dream into reality. It's absolutely, uh, absolutely awesome. Lebahang, you're the runner-up and you've done equally well. What will you take away from the Big Break Legacy? The Big Break Legacy has managed to, like I said before, that uh, they've ignited my potential as an entrepreneur. And I managed to make 78,000 rands in one and a half days. What an exciting ending to season one of The Big Break Legacy. I am so proud to have been involved with this groundbreaking series. Log on to our website, www.thebigbreaklegacy.com. For more information, get a copy of the business report found in The Star, The Cape Times, The Pretoria News, and Mercury Newspapers. Bahaya Shukelarata Rati Rati. From me, Masachaba Lekalake. Good night.